All right, welcome back. In the last video, we just figured out um, what our equations were for members A, B, and B, C. Now we're going to use these equations uh, to figure out what's going on at joint B. Now, if you remember at joint B, um, you have MBA and you have MBC. So if I said the summation of moments at joint B is equal to zero, that means the summation of MBA plus MBC is going to be equal to zero. Um, MBC is, is this equation right here, and MBC, I'm sorry, MBA is uh, this equation right here. So if I said uh, the summation, or let me do this in yellow, the summation of moments around joint B is equal to zero, and let's see, which way are those moments going at joint B? Well, they're going um, at, uh, counterclockwise, uh, so we'll just say uh, counterclockwise is positive. Uh, you have MBA plus MBC is equal to zero. That means MBA, uh, right, was EI over five times two theta B plus 30. And MBC um, was EI over 7, right, EI over 7 times 2 theta B um, minus 196. Let me just make sure that's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, so if we um, simplify this a little bit, uh, we can actually bring 30, negative 166 to the other side. Um, EI over 5, 2 theta B. Um, plus EI over 7, 2 theta B. Um, is, and that's equal to uh, 196, 130. I'm sorry, 30 plus negative 196 is negative uh, 166. You add that to both sides, you should get 166 on this side. Um, I'm just checking, making sure that our equation is right. Um, and if you, uh, you can factor out EI and, and um, bring that to the other side. So you'll get EI times 1 over 5 times 2 theta B um, plus 1 over 7 times 2 theta B, right? I just factored out the EI. That's equal to 166. Uh, let's bring this down a little. Uh, so you, you're left with 1 over 5, 2 theta b, plus 1 over 7, 2 theta b, uh, is equal to 166 over ei, right? I just divided everything by ei. Um, and if you just do the algebra, you figure out what theta b is, um, you'll notice that they are, you'll find out that theta b is equal to, I get 2905 over 12 EI, right? So theta B is equal to 2905 over 12 EI. Um, I'll actually save the rest for the next video. We'll plug theta B back into our moment equations to figure out what the moments are at the ends of A span AB and span um, BC. Alright, see you then.